This is the Forbes AI 50 list, 50 of the most promising artificial intelligence companies in the US. We've seen an absolute explosion of AI opportunities uh, in the past decade, and the year has only accelerated that. This is the era of artificial intelligence. Horizontal AI is basically types of artificial intelligence that can help all sorts of different industries. Three areas that are particularly notable on this year's list are first, the artificial intelligence workbench. These are the companies that artificial intelligence engineers are building AI in enterprises with. These are companies like DataIQ, DataRobot, Domino Data, and Databricks. All of those are on the list this year. The next area that's horizontal AI is computer vision. This is the ability for computers to understand images in a way that's useful to other humans. This is a continuous and very exciting trend in AI. You see companies like Viz.ai, which uses computer vision to detect large vessel occlusions, a type of stroke, very quickly and help treat it faster. You see companies like Amp Robotics, which are using artificial intelligence to actually make recycling faster, easier, more affordable, and more ubiquitous. The last of the horizontal trends, natural language processing. You can think about this as ways in which computers can understand language. Uh, we've seen this in a few ways. We see it on the list with Duolingo, which is using artificial intelligence to help people learn languages better and faster. We also see this with Whisper, which helps Maybe uh, your grandmother, maybe your parent who might have hearing loss better hear the people that they're with. My father actually has hearing loss. He really struggles to hear in loud places, restaurants. And, you know, that was when I was thinking that a lot of the AI I was, I was using to help, you know, rank ads, uh, facilitate uh, uh, consumers toaster sales could, could be used to clean up audio and help people hear their loved ones more clearly. So Whisper is actually really unique, which is fun in that we consider ourselves a software business. We're not here to sell you hardware. We don't make money by trying to sell you more stuff. We put the AI at the front and center of our hearing aid. We've designed it so it's a hundred times more compute than any other device on the market. It helps you hear more clearly and it can change the audio in real time to actually enhance the voices. We intend to stay laser focused on the you know, $18 billion a year and 300 million person market of just helping people hear their loved ones again. The three vertical trends that uh, I'm super excited about include artificial intelligence for healthcare, artificial intelligence for logistics, and artificial intelligence for communication. For example, in healthcare, we've seen an absolute explosion in the number of AI for drug discovery companies. We're thrilled to have Verge Genomics on the list this year. At Verge, we're using machine learning and human genomics to develop drugs for patients with incurable diseases, with the mission of scaling this engine to develop drugs for a number of incurable diseases like ALS, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. So we have a large proprietary database of patient brain tissues, and we use that to create models of what's causing the disease and use those to select genes or targets that we believe are the root cause of disease. We're applying machine learning to really predict what drugs or what targets might work in the lab. And then we're continuing to test them in the lab rather than starting with a guess and check method in the lab. I'm not gonna lie, it's incredibly challenging. Um, it's been decades of failure, but these are diseases that cannot be ignored. They will be one of the biggest burdens on the US healthcare systems, both economically as well as uh, from a healthcare burden perspective. So I think it's unavoidable that we tackle these now. In terms of logistics, we've seen uh, continuing excitement around autonomy and the ability to help serve you, the end customer, by getting products to you faster, cheaper, more efficiently. We're excited to have Gattuck on the list this year. At Gatek, we are building an autonomous delivery network for the middle mile segment of the supply chain. So this segment is uh, the segment between long haul trucking on one end, which is mostly highway driving, um, and then the sl slower moving B2C delivery robots on the other. Uh, so those uh, robots are traditionally making deliveries to the uh, customer's doorstep. At Gatek, you know, we are going after this uh, uh, middle mile segment that has been hugely underserved um, 
it is the unglamorous part of the whole supply chain uh, but for us this is exciting because uh, it's a very constrained environment our trucks are operating like busy bees uh, connecting these hub locations to the spoke locations uh, moving orders uh, day in and day out and uh, from an autonomy standpoint this is a very structured and a very constrained use case that allows us to commercialize the technology and and you know uh, bring the solution uh, to the market faster as we've been in the COVID era, a lot of us have been over Zoom, a lot of us have been over video conferencing. We can connect with people across the world almost as easily as we can connect with people down the block via Zoom. And that means more and more people are speaking more languages between each other. A company like Lilt, which enables real-time translation, uh, is an exciting business that we're thrilled to also have on the list this year. We got interested in starting to build systems to where you could have the efficiency and scalability of machines, but then the, the quality assurance and ingenuity and creativity of people. The core of the system is a neural machine translation system, and the system gives suggestions to that person while they translate. So what it looks like is, you know, I'm reading English and I'm typing French, and the system is providing suggestions to me while I type that's gonna make me more efficient. And the system has two unique characteristics that are not found in other neural machine translation systems. The first is that it learns as it's used. So as people use it in this human in the loop setting, it's, it trains itself um, on the type of text that they're translating. And the other thing that's unique is that it's interactive, meaning that when you use it, um, it'll make predictions based on what you type rather than just you know, putting a document in and then getting a document out that's fully translated. COVID has forced all of us to digitize more and to embrace technology more. That reality has actually propelled a lot of things forward. The artificial intelligence revolution is potentially as big, maybe bigger than the internet revolution. And over the past 30 years, we have seen the internet just absolutely transform our lives. Artificial intelligence has the potential to do the same, if not greater.